Hey everybody. Okay, there's no shame in career growth or in wanting a change. Um, sometimes I found there's some messages that we shouldn't want to change or grow. And um, that's not true because we have this amazing organ called the brain between your ears and it's made to change and learn. And it's made to, it's made to keep building new skills. Um, and my opinion as a neuroimmunologist is that if you have various neuroscience strategies in place, these foundational strategies in place, you can keep your career really interesting because you'll know exactly how to, you know, how to feed or meet or um, meet the neuroscience needs um, to prime the brain for busy days, to align with your values and your strengths, and then to, to design a really interesting, fun, positive career plan. Um, you know, I think a lot of times when we talk about tactics, they sound kind of flat or boring, but thank goodness, neuroscience, uh, positive neuroscience strategies are actually that, they're positive, they're, they actually can be fun. Um, yes, they can be scary because they might be new to you and new is uncomfortable. Um, I always think of new when you're trying something new career-wise or skill-wise, it's like when you go up those skyscrapers and there's that glass floor and you take a step out and you don't know where you're going. It's really uncertain because you there's no floor, you're just stepping on glass. Um, and so that's okay, it feels uncertain, but your brain will get you to learn, right? It's just like when we watch a baby learn to walk or, or how you learned how to ride a bike um, or skateboard or whatever you learned how to do. You know, when you learn a new skill, it's uncomfortable and we always should be uncomfortable at something because it means we're learning. So when we're expanding our skill set or our toolkit, um, it's a little more exciting, right? And then I, one book I read said, you know, if we're taking even a bigger jump, the emotions will be even bigger. So let's say that we, you know, you, you start a new coaching program or you buy my uh, monthly membership called Leaders Lift. It's like exciting at first, but you could also start to get angry at me in that, in that leadership lift because you might have high emotions because it's something new, right? And we might be angry because we may say, oh gosh, this is taking me energy, this is taking me time. And that's where in the program, we will actually go through how to brain prime. Because when you're learning, you actually have to do extra things for yourself and your brain so that it's ready, it's in a state of learning. You can't just like say, oh yeah, hey, hey, I'm gonna learn, but I'm not gonna sleep or eat or rest or anything, you know? Mm -mm. So we, we learn that within um, Leadership Lift that we can't expect miracles. You know, you can't have magical thinking, okay? So if we're gonna learn new things, we have to make it like attractive to us, we have to make it um, acceptable, exciting, and we have to make it very accessible. So if we're starting a new habit, we wanna make it easy for us. And that's what we do in Leadership Lift. You know, it's a monthly program, a little bit, all the time, and, and you know, hitting little goals and little challenges um, so that all of a sudden, before you know it, you have a set of new habits and new actions and new skills, and you can't even believe where you are, you know? So every month, we're gonna share new, new challenges and new skills and new information. So when we wanna change, we're gonna have to deal with emotions. I'm trying to avoid all the people walking around. Um, and we, there will be emotions. So sometimes exciting, sometimes, like I said, angry. A lot of times it's very common to get, uh, to feel anger towards your teacher because your brain is like overwhelmed a little bit or it's tired or you didn't eat breakfast or you didn't sleep. So your brain isn't ready to take on new information because the brain's already busy, right? It's already taking care of your whole body. So if you wanted to learn, you have to do extra things. That's what we go through in Brain Fresh as we learn how to brain prime because without it, you can't ask your brain to do new things. It won't, it won't be able to have any time to soak it in. Okay, so we learn how to deal with emotions. We learn how to lead with intellect, but our emotions actually drive us more so. So we have to learn uh, what kind of what their level is, what their power is in our day as leaders, right? And we have to um, deal with the desire. We wanna grow, um, but we have to remove the barriers. So that's what we'll do in Leaders Lift, and we'll go over that and so we, that we can make it easy, okay? One of the approaches, someone call it like you have a will, you wanna build the skill, and then there's a hill approach. So you wanna move, remove the barriers. You have a will to change, you have to build the skill, but you have to also, there's a hill, so you have to remove the barriers to change. Now, one thing that really can enhance change is growth and mentors. Um, and building your own growth team. So people that will hold you accountable. So make sure you're doing that as part of your part of your growth. And we have that in Leaders Lift, okay? Because you absolutely, if you wanna do this fast and furious, or at least successfully, you have to have all those components in place. So why don't you share with me what's your greatest barrier right now to your career development? What is keeping you from taking that step? A lot of times for me, I had four kids. A lot of times it was, oh, it's, I'm busy with the kids. 
um, you know, my husband's doing X, Y, and Z, this is happening in the family, work is this, you know, so there's always reasons that we're not ready to take a step. So why don't you share why, what you're saying, what you're telling yourself, why your greatest barrier right now to your career development, to taking that next exciting, expansive step. Uh, because in Leaders Lift, we talk about expanding and expanding can be fun and positive. Um, and it's okay to have fun with career development. Uh, that's not a message I heard a lot, but I you know, kind of found people that would have a little fun with it. And those are the people I hung out with because it feels way more positive and it is more positive and you get more things done when you're in a positive state, okay? You got this. So you're gonna share me uh, right with me your greatest barriers to career development that you have right now, okay? All right, see you then.